At Sacramento Inc. on Broadway, owner Ron Gooddale knows the construction work is temporary. I just hope it doesn't hurt our business in the long run. But like the tattoos he creates for his customers, he's looking forward to the permanent project. It's going to get people on feet, walking by, come on in here and get a tattoo after you got done having breakfast at Tower Cafe or something. At Miso Japanese Cuisine, the owners have noticed a slowdown in sushi. A lot of customers, um, they have a hard time finding like parking areas and just going through traffic, you know. It's like it takes much longer time than it usually is. This two-week phase of Broadway Complete Streets will include lane shifts and closures with some limited access to driveways and cross streets. There are detours and temporary parking restrictions during construction. Hugh says they're coming up with ways to promote their business to make it worth patrons putting up with the problems. We're doing like something special like um, sake bombs, uh, Sapporo, and then we're planning to do some uh, karaoke nights on Saturday. Both Broadway family-owned businesses say the project will bring in new customers with bike lanes and marked crosswalks, making it a safer area and slowing down traffic. So it'll be nice to see it slow down a little bit. You know, and it needs to slow down. I think Broadway should be a slow down street. Broadway is going to be like a lot nicer, and it's going to bring a lot of customers in. In Sacramento, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. And this phase of Broadway Complete Streets is expected to be wrapped up by June 3rd. The city says that residents can't expect to hear noise from the grinding and the paving machines, along with some vibration from the equipment.